Oh my goodness, it has been years, no, literally years, since I have seen you. Give me a hug. How are you? You've been good, babes. Yeah, good. Oh my gosh. Well, first things first, I brought you a gift, and it is a very special gift, because I know that you have some contracts that you want me to look at. Yay! Congrats, I'm so sad, first off. But, hands away, you may not open this. How rude of me. You may not open this until I leave. Because I know you, and you're gonna try to get me to take it back, and we're not doing nothing of the sorts. Put it on the floor. It's in a nice box, don't worry. I'm just gonna sit right here on this little, this little rug. Nice and gentle. Ah! So, what's new? It is so good to see you. I'm so excited. It has been the longest day of my life. I had so much work to do. I think my brain might be literally melting into the rest of my body, like just... But I'm here now, and there's so much to talk about. But whatever you want to do first, let me know. I just need to know what we got to drink. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. So, tell me about the contracts that you got. Millions, tens of millions. Which one? Well, congrats! Okay, so did you sign the contract yet or you didn't? Because I know you wanted me to look at it. Make sure everything looks like legit and make sure everything legally looks good. Okay, you didn't sign yet. In this folder here? Okay. Well, let's see what we got. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so was there anything specifically that you were concerned about or you just wanted me to make sure everything looked like mm, there's not gonna there's not gonna be any issues financially because you know it's all we're worried about the money the okay um so yeah they're signed in they have that business and land lawyer okay no this looks good let me check one other page on here, because sometimes it's this third page they try to get you. Um, it looks good. Yeah. Everything looks fine to me. I would say there should be no issue at all. When did you plan on filing this? Okay. Looks good to me. Yay! How exciting! Oh my gosh, you're about to have two buildings? We're really leveling up because do you remember back in the day? Oh, thank you, by the way, for this drink. Do you remember back in the day, like years ago? We need a new dish detergent. <sighs> anyway, do you remember years ago when it was just our husbands would work and we would just do nothing? And now look at us, business owners, we got a lawyer degree, we got all kinds of things now, we're moving up. Also, I wanted to mention to you, I got a corneal abrasion on this eye yesterday, so if you just notice my eyes randomly keep watering, this light in your house is so bright and it's very irritating. I've been wearing nothing but sunglasses for the last two days until it heals and it just burns, burns, and if I think about it, it'll burn worse. What happened was, I was packing orders, and I bent over into the mailbag, big plastic mailbag that has these black velcro straps, and I bent down really fast, and the strap hit me right, like dead center in the eye. And like, even though it only tapped me by like, like you know, like a relatively, like, like it brushed me relatively good, it felt like someone <clears throat> sucker punched the bull crap out of me. I was like, wow, 
I have pictures. I'll show you. My eye was so swollen and red. My lid was like three times the size. So yeah, I'm not crying or anything. I just have corneal abrasion. But anyway, oh, first of all, do you want to start with the juicy gossip? Because I have plenty. Okay, you tell me a story and I'll tell you a story. About who? I remember when I thought she was having issues at school, but I don't remember her being suspended. For how long? Okay. Wait, okay. So the girl that your daughter was arguing with at school way back when I saw you the last time, I can vaguely piece it together. Kind of can't remember, I'm not going to lie that much because so much has happened. But I remember that they were arguing. And I remember she was having issues with them, like a little bit of bullying. So you're saying your daughter knocked that girl out and your daughter got suspended. Okay. Yeah, well that's stupid. She shouldn't have even been suspended because self-defense, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I take so much as a person? Like, what do you want from me? You what? So you went to the school and cussed out the principal and they called the cops on you? <laughs> well then what? Wait, you got arrested? In charge with what? Disorderly conduct, are you freaking kidding me? Is is this this is a joke, right? You're joking. Why didn't you call me? <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This has to be a joke. Please tell me it's a joke. Okay. Okay, well then I'll let it slide in that case. So then what? What will happen after that? She's at a different school? Which one? Dang. <gasps> That's really crazy. I... I don't know what to say. So now your daughter's at a whole different school. Does she like it? Like, is it better? That's all that matters. If it's better and she likes it more, we're happy. No issues. <laughs> yeah, because they heard, don't mess with her, you get your head whooped. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to say. That's crazy. <laughs> That's different. I was not expecting that one today. I guess it has been a while since I've seen you. <laughs> Dad didn't even call me when she gets arrested. What the heck? Okay, I got one for you. I'm looking for a new babysitter. Which one? Emily? No, that was the other one. I had this one with Rebecca, but I need another one. Because you know why? What? No. Ew. Why would you say that? No, she- No, she ain't coming to my husband. I caught her stealing the liquor. The expensive reserve from the basement. Yeah. Well, I had noticed, cause you know we like to host little gatherings and stuff down there. You put 15 million into a wine cellar in the basement. You want to show it off. And we haven't seen people that we've had all the years come over. No one's ever touched anything. Nothing's ever gone missing, right? Well, tell me why. Oh, I would love some of those, by the way. Thank you. So, tell me why. And we have the same people that come over all the time. Come over, nobody knew. But, I was noticing, like, every couple days when I would go down there, I was like, something's weird, like it seems like something's either missing, or doesn't look right, or it's just off. And obviously when you have thousands of bottles, you're not going to remember the exact placement of every single freaking one. But then, I started to look at them, and I picked one up, because what happened was, I always keep all the labels super straight across, everything's perfect, because you know when you go in, and you look at it, you don't want to see like some label this way and then this bottle looks like there's no label because it's turned backwards. 
So I keep everything perfect. Nobody touches it really unless we're drinking it, which is rare. And I look and I see one turn and it's like half the bottle that I could see the label on. I say, huh, what do we have here? Grabbed it, lit it. Look, I got chills just thinking about it because I'm so, so ticked off. I grab the bottle and I look at it. Ain't nothing in there. <laughs> Swear. So, I look, because there's the seal on top is not broken at all. So I'm like, how? Well, don't I just twist a little bit and I notice the most microscopic tiny cut in the foil. And then I take the foil top off. A hole drilled through the cork into the bottle. So I'm thinking, ew, probably have so much like like cork dust in the wine. What are you doing? Drinking it? Selling it? Trying to make money? Nobody's gonna buy that and believe what it is. This bottle's like $15,000 and you're ruining it. Like, you're stupid. So anyway, I was like, um, I brought it up to her. I was like, this is the only stupid idiot that would do that, right? Like, you're young. Like, you're stupid. You don't even know. So, and I don't mean young people are stupid. I just mean in this situation, only a young person would ruin the bottle like that. So I ask her. I bring it up to her. Well, the second I get done mentioning it, instantly turns beet red. And then, the color just drains out of her. She turns pale as a ghost, and that's when I knew. I said, hmm, yep, that's the one. It's her. Yeah, police, this one right here. Which I felt like saying, but I didn't know, whatever. So I just told her, politely, don't ever come back. And so, I said, honestly, you're lucky that I don't tell your mom because what are you doing? You're weird. And I should make you guys pay me back for all those bottles that you, whatever you did with. And I'm sure there's more that I didn't even locate yet. So, if you have a babysitter, recommendation, I'm in need. Yeah, can you freaking believe it? It just irks me to the core. Like, really rattled to the core. By the way, how do you feel about this choker? The reason I ask. I told hubby, go get it tightened. Beautiful diamonds. I said, can you go get it tightened a little bit? Because it was like a little bit of slack. It was kind of hanging off a little. And when it would do that, it would like... You can kind of see it do it a little bit if I give it a gap. I'm going to triple chin. But, like, it was just gapping. So I was like, can you take this, babe, and tell them take off, like, half inch. Make it a choker. So he did. And now, I feel like I am being asphyxiated. Literally. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take this off when I get home. Because my neck might have swollen to the point that this thing is so freaking tight, I want to be able to put my fingers in the back to take it off. <laughs> but it looks pretty, so whatever. You like it? Thought you might. Well, next time you get another big deal, I might have another gift for you. And it won't be from Saint Laurent. It'll be from Tiffany's. <laughs> okay, so story's on you now. Your turn. And also, I'm going to look at this real quick. I want to see what's in here. Oh, just some pictures? Well, I'll take a look at them. Oh. I've seen better. These are cute of you, though. But I have seen better headshots. These are going to be your professional photos for a building. Release the event. Well, I guess you should sign the contract first. Were these really going to be your professional photos, though? You're serious? I don't think so. Um, we need something else. That... Mm -mm. 
mm -mm. that does not look like you on your worst day. <sighs> if I'm just being honest, did you go on Groupon for a photographer? Someone's first time ever doing a headshot professional photo? <laughs> you know, I love you to death. I cannot let you use that photo. That is not cute. Hold on. I'll make a note right now. Let me see this pen. I'm writing down my photographer's name for you. Literally, he does the best work in the entire world. Where's another piece of paper? Obviously, you say diamond sent you. And his name's Abe. A B E. Abe does the best headshots. Has done all my headshots look so good, so professional, natural, like minimal touch up. Cause, oh, sorry, babe. Let me get that. Does very natural skin tone, like no soft touch, like too blurred. Ew, edited to the max. No, really good. You'll love it. Um. Anyway, so go ahead. What were you saying? Ooh, new neighbors. Fun. Okay, what are their names? Okay, so what do we know about them? Tell me everything. Well, does she seem nice? Have you done any, like, wine? Or maybe if she doesn't drink, maybe she doesn't drink. Have you done, like, brunch or anything like that? Oh, she seems rude. Why? Some other time. Hmm. When did you ask? Like, how many days after they moved in? Okay, maybe she's just miserable. Or, something's going on. So, you go over, you said, you want to, what did you say, coffee? Okay. And she said, like, imitate her. Dang, like that. Oh, loud. Maybe a minute time. Okay, miserable. Never mind then. So what? Oh, so there's another woman. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like she works at night. And then that's when this other person's coming over. Ew, you're creep. You've been watching? <sighs> oh, you see them be kissing? On the porch? Mmm. But do you, does it look secretive or do you think this could be a poly relationship? Like, could be. I'm not with that, but it could be. Oh. Yeah, no, she's parking down three blocks away. She just walks off into the night every time. Comes out of nowhere. Wow. Excuse me? You saw her climbing out the window of the third floor. How? What she land on? <laughs> this must be a joke. So, like a movie, wife comes home, up the front driveway, and you see her climbing out the back side of the house, third story window, with sheets tied together. Sheets. Bed sheets. And she's coming down like there's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me record it. Did you record it? No, be for real. Did you record it? Oh, well, you should have. I don't know why you wanted to record that. Wow. That's wild. What? I can't right now. You got me beat. You got me beat there. I got no funny stories. The only stories I have are about fighting, stealing, <laughs> and people doing me dirty. And that's it. 
Wow, I am so beyond, like, I'm mind blown right now. Uh, anyway, what you say? We go get some food. I'm starving, unless you have something to make. You cooking? I didn't think so. Well, come on, leave your gift here. Don't even think about opening it. And when we come back, I'm dropping you off. You can come back inside and open your gift, and I will not be coming in. Leave it there. <laughs> come on, let's go get some food.